Zwei Group invites all AEC industry leaders to the 2024 AEC Small Business and Entrepreneurship Forum, the premier event for small firms in the AEC sector. Experience innovative strategies and insights on May 21st, crafted by Zweig Group's industry experts. Engage in keynotes and interactive sessions focused on recruitment, retention, and business growth. Join Zwei Group for this unique networking opportunity and take your business to new heights. Secure your spot today and be part of the AEC industry's future. Visit ZweigGroup.com for more information. The Zwei Group team looks forward to welcoming you. Welcome to the Zweig Letter Podcasts, putting architectural, engineering, planning, and environmental consulting guru Mark Zweig and his team of experts straight talk in your ear. Mark has more than 30 years of experience helping AEP and environmental firms thrive, and these podcasts deliver his invaluable management, industry, client, and HR advice directly to you, free of charge. The Zweig Letter Podcasts let you develop professionally, wherever you are. Hey, folks, and thank you for joining us for another episode of the Zweig Letter Podcast. Uh, I am Randy Wilburn, your host, and I am here today with none other than our own Bill Murphy. Uh, Bill is part of the consulting team here at Zweig Group. Um, He's also also the director of education. And uh, actually, 2018 has a lot of new things in store for Bill. And so uh, this this is probably the most appropriate time to kind of talk about what we've been doing in in the recent past when it comes to training, and you know, we we hear from uh, you, our listening audience, quite a bit about different ways to develop your internal staff, and you know, how can you really grow your people and and build a strong uh, retention uh, tool to to grow your organization and to give your people the best training possible. And at Zwei Group, we've been doing that for a number of years, not just through programs like the Principals Academy, uh, programs like the Hot Firm event that we do annually in September of each year, but also through one-off training programs that we do, both public-facing programs that are open and and available to anyone, as well as what we call in-house training. And so today we wanted to take some time to just kind of talk about the two, kind of highlight some of our seminars that we offer uh, some of the programs that are available to you, and then you know, really get into uh, some of the the training that we can customize uh, for a particular firm based on their particular needs, which is nice because then you don't have that cookie cutter approach to training, but that you can really get something that is truly valuable to um, the specific needs of your organization. And nowadays, in in this in this day and age, everybody's looking for customized. Uh, a customized approach to training, a customized approach to consulting, uh, where you're getting high quality information, high quality advice, high quality guidance. And um, we'd like to think that what we do here at Zwei Group is is certainly along those lines. And, you know, who better to talk about that than than Bill? So that's why I figured I would bring him back on the podcast. He's been on a few times before in the past, but, you know, just again, there's just a lot of changes afoot and we really want to you know, make sure our listening audience knows all of the different options that are available to them when it comes to uh, training. Uh, and also just to know that most of the training that we offer in some way, shape or form offers some type of PDH or professional development hours or CEUs, continuing education units. So there are a lot of opportunity for people to get training uh, and also to get the additional credit that they need um, for their their continuing education pursuit. So, you know, there's a lot there's a lot here to unpack. But but Bill, it's great to have you back on the podcast. It's been a while. You and I have been busy grinding out some uh, outstanding leadership uh, events and trainings that we've done, which we'll talk more about later. But man, it's so good to have you back on. Hey, it's great to be back on here again. It's kind of a, a fun time to be here when we're actually all here right before the holidays. I, I know, <laughs> it's kind I of know. Unusual. <laughs> yeah, this this at the time of this recording, it's it's a couple of days before Christmas, and just about all of us are here in the office, and you know we're we're kind of getting excited. We're having our Christmas party tomorrow, our, our holiday party, and so it should be a lot of fun. But um, 
you know, th- there certainly is no rest for the weary. And this is actually probably the best time to get geared up and prepared for 2018. Like we know a lot of you guys are are doing the same thing back in your offices. And uh, no matter what you're doing, everybody's constantly thinking about what the future is going to hold, what, you know, what things are going to look like. It looks like we're going to have a new tax program that's going to be our way coming our way in that's 2018. Right. And so there's a lot of changes afoot. And, you know, let's let's face it, Bill, nobody likes change. But change is inevitable. It, I think it's required. You have to do it. You, you have to change or, or you're just going to stay stagnant and you'll die. Absolutely. You have to do it to grow. Yeah, absolutely. So so with that in mind, um, what we wanted to do today is talk a little bit about our training program and wanted to, you know, I, I wanted Bill to just kind of um, give a bigger picture view of the different seminars that we offer. Of course, we have the Principals Academy we have uh, excellence in project management. And I'm speaking specifically of those seminars and programs that we do that are pretty much open to the general public. We have a couple of others that I'll just mention for the sake of mentioning them, but those are are very highly specialized events that we do, uh, one-off events that we do once a year. And so um, specifically though, but Principals Academy is probably our hallmark training program. Excellence in project management is another training program that we do. Leadership skills for AEC professionals. That's something that actually Bill and I had a hand in developing, which has been kind of cool to see that just get off the ground. And uh, in 2018, that should be delivered quite a few, quite a few times, both uh, as a um, as a public facing event as well as an in house training. Uh, we also have AEC business development training, uh, real marketing and branding for AEC firms, and financial management for AEC professionals. And that that that. That that program is perfect for people that are not, um, you know, real numbers people per se, a classically trained numbers people. But uh, all of those are, are available as uh, public facing events as well as in house training events. And in addition to all of that, you know, another thing that we're doing, and and we've done it in the past quite a bit. I mean, Mark Zweig has gone out and sp- spoken just about anywhere you could name in any major event, but we also are available and we do a number of speaking engagements. I personally have uh, spoken to ACEC on on a number of occasions, uh, on a number of topics, and and just about all of our leadership here at Zwei Group is available uh, for any type of speaking engagement, whether it's a one-off event, as long as our calendar will permit, uh, we can certainly make ourselves available for that. And I'll let Bill talk a little bit more about that, but um, but Bill, why don't you why don't you just tell tell us a little bit? Just give us the cliff note version of of these these seminars that I highlighted, starting with the Principals Academy. Well, actually, if I can back up just a little bit sure. to, to add some context to all of this, uh, twenty seventeen just looked like it was a, a time for uh, ignition. It was like the fires were lit. Everybody was busy. All the companies are busy. We all know that uh, business is good. And so, how do you stand out among your competition? How do you improve your your people and your the quality of your product? And it really has come down to training. Yeah. And the companies that really excelled in 2017 were the ones who dedicated time and effort to send people through training or brought training into their house. Uh, so that's, I think it's going to explode even more in 2018 now, which is very exciting. And so, as you mentioned, our flagship program, the Principals Academy, was one that really got things started for companies because this is the senior leader level uh, course where we talk about everything you need to know about being an owner in a company. From how to run the company um, on the financial side, how to run it on the leadership side, how do you uh, recruit and retain the right people, how do you do marketing, how do you do strategic planning, all of that we we jam pack. It's kind of like the ten pounds of sausage put into a five pound bag kind of thing. Yeah, uh, it's jammed in two days, and uh, I, I wish we had five days to do it. I know. Uh, it, <laughs> there's just so much great greatness that comes out of that, and great conversations, and people get to meet everybody. It is just a wonderful opportunity to to get together with your peers in the industry. And some of the things we've seen from people coming out of this program is some have taken the pro, uh, the program and gone on to become a principal specifically because they had that course. Right. Uh, other companies have put that on their their career path. That in order to become a principal, you have to go through the principal's academy. Right. So there is a lot of value in that, and I, I think you know our partners and, and clients see that, and they they recognize that there's so much value in that. So. Uh, that one's fun. Uh, you know, again, two days of jam-packed information, uh, getting to know your peers, just a, just a great opportunity. Yeah. And, and then excellence in project management. Yeah, that one was, uh, that was a change for 2017. So we started out, 
2016, we had an introduction to project management, and we had an advanced project management. And frankly, I had some people who were offended by the comment or by the, the title of introductory introduction to project management. Yeah. They said, I'm not a beginner and that's insulting. <laughs> so, uh, how dare you? <laughs> yeah. How dare you? <laughs> so we obviously listened to, to what uh, people are saying and what we ended up putting together was a one day, instead of two days, we put a one day course that it covers the whole spectrum from mm-hmm. uh, aspiring PMs to uh, fairly new PMs too. We've actually had presidents of companies and CEOs of companies have okay. gone through this because they want to take that inf- information back into their company. Okay. Uh, so very exciting. We get into everything from um, it, it's not how to be how to count the widgets necessarily. We're not going into the deep technical stuff that you need to do as a project manager. How do you use this software product or that software product? We get into how do you lead a team, and that's one of those things that people don't really know how to do. They go through architecture school or engineering school, and they've never had a class on leadership. Yeah. So we talk about leading teams. We get into communication. We get into uh, how do you run schedules? How do you keep a project on on schedule? Um, I also introduce some uh, some financial management topics that I've had people tell me that I don't need to know this. But as a project manager, you do need to know how your project is running financially. Oh, absolutely. So we cover the whole gambit in there. Uh, again, it's not the if you're looking for a technical program. There's plenty of those out there, and, and that's not what we do. Uh, this is a, a very, it's the hands-on, how do you, no kidding, become a project manager and run a, a successful project. Okay, so probably more of a holistic approach to it. It, it is, yeah. yeah. Okay. It, it is. Uh, okay. Again, there's technical things out there if you want to learn how to use software, um, and we could recommend some to, to people if they're interested, but uh, this is really how to be a, a true leader as a project manager. Okay. All right. Um, which takes me to the next one that, that you and I ran and, <laughs> and it was so much fun this year was it our is. leadership skills for AEC professionals. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, you and I ran this, uh, we put it together over uh, many months mm-hmm. and just had a great time with it. We had a, a, a great group in the first class there. And it is the things again, that, that these will make you stand apart right. as a leader within an organization. These will help you make, uh, stand, uh, stand apart. Uh, we go from everything from uh, decision making to uh, communication, public speaking, mentoring, um, and mentoring. Yeah, role of routine for leaders. Yeah. All of that over a two day period. And again, as you saw, it is jam packed for two days. Uh, Randy and I are, are pretty wiped out by the end of the second day because <laughs> it's we just put so much into it. Yeah, uh, yeah. But there's you know we could cover everything for you know a couple of weeks, but uh, we picked the the biggest things that that should mean the most to people within the industry. Yeah, absolutely. So that absolutely. one, you know, we definitely, we do it as an open enrollment, and then we can also do that as, a, as an in-house too. In-house training, Which is a lot yeah. of fun. Okay. Uh, we have our, our AC business development training, which is focused on sales, which if you're an introvert in this industry, you don't like selling. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> and right. We, we get people past that. It, it, and I always look at, at business development is it's it's really not sales. It's providing solutions for our clients. Right. Yeah, and that's what we do in this industry. You know, professional service industry. You provide solutions for clients, and it's getting people past that mental block of how do I how do I sell my business? How do I how do I sell the products that we have and cross selling different areas of uh, different sectors of my my company? Uh, so that's a one day course that we have. Uh, the next one that we've this year or for twenty eighteen, we're going to bookend it now with a real marketing and branding right. for AC professionals. And so that gets into the, the marketing. How do I sell my company through social media, through uh, marketing campaigns, you know, all of th- that whole piece of it. And we put those again, back to back because they do play off each other. Mm-hmm. Um, and, and so that'd be a, a, right now we have a great two day event. First one's in, in February in Seattle. Okay. So okay. Uh, again, back to back and uh, that'll be a lot of fun. Um, just actually probably 15 minutes ago, we had, we had a couple of people sign up for that one. So oh, we're good. excited about that. Good. Yeah, that should be good. Uh, the other one we have is, um, it, it's uh, called financial management for AC professionals. And that one is, is all the, all the numbers that you don't get to learn anywhere else. Right. And when I talk with a lot of companies and, and I ask them what they're really looking for and they say training, well, I don't know what that means. Yeah. So we dig in a little bit deeper and they say, we need people who can run a budget or understand the numbers that go into, into, uh, this industry. And so it's a full day class of. Uh, everything you need to know of, of tracking how your projects are working, tracking how your company is working. Um, we, we get into the valuation of, you know, what's your company worth? So we cover everything uh, financial on, on a, uh, throughout a company, everything you'd need to know. So uh, again, back on the, the Principles Academy, that is really a, it's a conglomeration of all of these things. It's again, jam-packed. 
we have a, a couple of things on in the Principals Academy on financial management and accounting, which expanded into a full day course. Right. Right. So, um, anyway, it, yeah, we got a great lineup for this next year, and it, it's going to be very exciting to to make those happen again. So, okay, so let's just kind of tease this out just a little bit because you just mentioned the Principal Academy again, and I think one of the benefits that a lot of people don't recognize about the Principals Academy is that. Um, it's also a chance to get with some of the leadership in this organization for some pretty much unfettered access where you can you can sit down and talk with people. We usually have, I mean, that, that the TPA itself is really nicely set up because there is a cocktail reception. Um, there are several meals together. There's always an opportunity to get together the night before the first day of the event and, and have a meal and break bread. And, and so there are a lot of opportunities there to get access to people like Mark Zweig and Chad Kleinens and yourself and myself and Jamie Claire Kaiser and so many others that um, you know are in the trenches on a daily basis, that we're not just running around teaching this year in, in and year out, but we're actually doing this on behalf of clients on a regular basis so that when you come and ask us specific questions, we, can, you know, we can't give you anecdotal stories. We tell you what actually happened. Absolutely. Yeah, that's what I, I truly love about our company. I've been through so many courses throughout the years, and it was all fluffy stuff. It was all theoretical stuff that I never really got anything out of. But when you go through something like the Principals Academy, everything, as you said, it is very practical. It's, these, are, these are the things companies are going through, the yeah. challenges that they're having, the successes that they're having. And yeah, it's a great opportunity to pick the brains of, of several of us. And, and we actually designed the, the whole program so that there's you know, kind of that, that teacher to student ratio. Uh, there's a great ratio that you get to meet everybody. Yeah. And you can spend time with whoever you want to on, on the consulting side. So it's just a just a great opportunity to, again to pick brains and I've had people come up to me and say, "Hey, I've got this one specific thing to my company. Right. What, what do you think about that?" Yeah. Like, you realize that that's not specific to you. There are a lot of companies going through the same thing and we have insights for that. And so we can help you out. Um and we you know, that may be over a, a cocktail or a having an appetizer somewhere. Exactly. Um, so great opportunity to meet with our team. Yeah, I think that's that, that's a tremendous benefit. And you said it. I mean, we, we tend not to overbook these. So we, we usually get a nice number and the ratio is right. Yep. Um, you know, this is like, almost like the student to teacher ratio that I'm always worried about in my son's elementary school. But, but, but in this type of event, uh, it's a perfect number of people where you can really interact and everybody feels like they have a chance to talk to everybody and Right. You know, I mean, I know by the time you and I get back from these, all of us were kind of spent because we have <laughs> we have literally talked and talked and talked. So uh, it's a great opportunity. Um, why don't you? Because you know, I know that some people listening to this might be wondering, well, how do how will this benefit my organization? Or we're a small organization, so we can't necessarily um, you know spring to have everybody go to these events. What's the best way for a firm? That's trying to be really intentional about this whole uh, area of um, of uh, per professional development. What's the best way for them to go about entering into this arena and making sure that their people are getting the the, the, the training necessary? I always line everything up with the strategy. Yeah, you know, what's the strategy of the company? And if the strategy is growth of a company, and and frankly, that's where you should be. And and I would imagine those of you listening to the podcast, that's what you're trying to do. Yeah, you're trying to grow, so you're trying to learn some things. If your strategy is growth, then you need to take a holistic focus on your company and train everybody. Right. Uh, the open enrollment courses that we have are great, and, and we get ones and twos from different companies. But if you're looking to train a team, um, say six project managers, it's probably cheaper, honestly, to, for us to come in-house. That, that we come to your location, you can pick as many people as you want to attend the training. There's no billable time that you're missing by traveling. Right. No hotel rooms or anything like that. Uh, we come to you, we talk about your issues, your challenges, and formulate a, a training plan uh, to cover those topics with you. Uh, I'm working on one right now with a, with a client that I'll, I'll run in the springtime, and it's, it's asking a whole bunch of questions and digging deep into what are the real challenges here. And so if you're looking for that team, uh, and, and I did this with another firm not that long ago, it was a, the in-house training was a springboard for future things for their strategy. So they wanted everybody to go through the same training, to have the same, you know, same insights. And then it was going to lead to another couple of days of planning on, here's how we do business. Here's how our project managers should run. Here's how our company should do project management. It was very exciting to see that and be a part of that. Uh, and that's the kind of thing that if your firm is really trying to grow, then consider the whole team. You know, if you're thinking about business development, every project manager should be selling. 
Right. We all sell. We do. We all do that here. Right. Everybody should be selling their company in some way or another. And if you all go, or either you send several people to one seminar, which is which is great, or we come in house to do it. You all get the same thing. You can have the conversations during the breaks, during the lunch, and then after everything's done, then you meet back together again as a group and come up with your plan again, tying it back into your strategy. Yeah, I, I really like the, the the bespoke nature of the in house training because you can really it it can really be custom made to what your needs are. And so, for instance, if we did the leadership training at one firm, it might be um, a, a little bit different than what we do at another firm based on what, you know, what needs that firm has as opposed to the other ones. So, oh, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. And, yeah. There's no one size fits all. With right. These. Yeah. Right. Which is really nice. And so I think that's another thing that people need to be cognizant of because, um, you know, there's all kinds of opportunities out there to train your people. And I know that I've done some research on the recruitment and retention aspect of things. And one of the biggest reasons that people leave their firm, you know what it is? It's training. It's training, right. Professional, personal and professional development, a lack of it. It's paying attention to people yeah, and helping to develop them and grow them. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So it's, it's a, it's a real issue. And certainly, um, by no means have we cornered the market, but I would just say that the, I think the biggest difference in terms of how we deliver this information is that we do really practice what we preach. And it's not that we're just, you know, going from plane to, to office to plane to office, delivering the same information over and over again without any type of time in the lab, if you will. Our time in the lab is when we're working with these clients on a daily basis. Right. And we get to take that information and say, oh, based on what we just experienced on this project, we need to add that to fill in the blank training because this will help the next group of people that are going through that same situation. Yeah. So. One example, uh, I mean, a small example of that is, um, you know, the first time we did the leadership course, we had it planned for the second day, but the morning of the second day, we were talked about how do we change it right. because of the feedback we got and, and things that we heard from the people who were attending. And um, yeah, everyone's going to be different. We're picking up new things every time from different clients. Uh, and that's the exciting part about, about this. I don't like to teach the same thing over and over again. I, right. I just don't like that reputation. Yeah. But yeah, we pick up new things every time we talk with a new client, uh, every time we go see them at their location. And we present that to everybody, all the attendees. Yeah. And give them a snapshot of what the what their their peers are looking like. Yeah. And you know, we the other thing is that we we in for, for most instances we won't kill you by PowerPoint as well. No, no. You know, <laughs> that's it. There we have beautiful pictures, we've got all kinds of great images to exchange ideas with and 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 uh, that's the other beautiful thing about it too. We've taken our time uh to look at that. I mean, you know, there's so many statistics out there about the average attention span of the adult and we've taken all of that into consideration <laughs> when we've put these trainings together because we do want people to be engaged. We want to keep you um you know, we want to keep you engaged from the beginning to the end. Right. And I think that's that's really important. Um were you gonna say something? I, I, actually one of the, the best things that I just did was uh, as I'm giving a presentation, somebody in the group had a comment and somebody else within the group commented back on that one and I stepped back. Yeah. And internally they had a fantastic discussion, went on probably 15, 20 minutes. And they're trying to come up with some solutions to the to problem that they had. And it was great. I mean, that was part of that's part of it. it it's us moderating a, a an idea or a suggestion or something. And let people, because they're all gathered together, uh, let them come up with a solution. And that was just it was so much fun. I I actually stood back and smiled. Yeah. It, it was yeah. it was fun to watch the engagement of everybody. Yeah. And that's what we do. We're not, it's not the death by PowerPoint. It's, you know, interacting with your peers, whether it's in-house or, or open enrollment, uh, getting to know everybody and, and finding out what their challenges are. Yeah, no, absolutely. And speaking of that, uh, that type of a program, I know we're doing in 2018, we're doing um, a CEO roundtable for the first time. Absolutely. That one's going to be very exciting. And, and that, uh, you know, going back to comments we've heard from clients, uh, the people what we're working with is, I'd like to know who my peers are. Right. And just getting to meet them and, and have conversations because uh, I've, I've been there and you've been there too. When you're at the top of a pyramid, you look around and there aren't any peers. Right. There's nobody to talk about different issues that you're going with on you know, leadership challenges or financial challenges or whatever. And what we wanted to do with the, the CEO roundtable is put people together in a very relaxed kind of social atmosphere. It's not a you know, presentation necessarily. It's having conversations about the challenges that CEOs are going to go through. Right. And that one's going to be very exciting. We've got, if you like bourbon, we're going to have bourbon tours on that one too in, in Louisville. Uh, and that was by design too, is to get people walking around through a tour, have some social interactions that will lead to future conversations and, and 
I'm expecting that there's going to be a lot of business cards traded back and forth and phone numbers and, and, uh, I'm looking forward to that. That'd be very exciting. Yeah, it should be. It should be awesome. I think, and and um, that along with the board of directors roundtable, right? And that one is designed for uh, a lot of the firms who are thinking about having a board, or they've grown to a certain point where they need to have a board, but they don't know where to start. Yeah, and so we're looking for um, either established boards or, or firms that are looking to start a board uh, to talk about. Here's the challenges. Uh, I keep using that term, but um, here are the things that that it takes to run a successful board and run it efficiently. Yeah. Yeah. No, well, I mean, hey, they are challenges. Oh, and, yeah, and they, they are. They yeah. are. They are challenges. If we didn't so. have any challenges, then right. we, we wouldn't need to be here. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> so, well, that that sounds exciting. And I know that, you know, we've kind of done some variation of the CEO roundtable and the board of directors roundtable through some of our breakout sessions at Hot Firm. Oh, yeah. And when you look at the interaction between some of those CEOs of some pretty successful companies just coming together, even for 45 minutes to talk. I mean, you talk about the number of ideas that float in that room. I mean, it's- uh, It's know, impressive. It's it's very impressive. It's very impressive to say the least. So hopefully uh, we'll be able to ca- capture lightning in a bottle again when we do this event in Louisville. And um, you know, I don't know what it is, but it, it, bourbon just seems to be the context through which we're able to bring people together. <laughs> so there's something about that magic elixir of bourbon that uh, that works quite nicely. I, I think so. You know, I wonder if we, if we took a poll, would would most CEOs or leaders in the design space be bourbon drinkers as opposed to say like a good red wine or white wine? So be, be <laughs> interesting poll. That to would take. be an interesting one. Yeah. So um, all right. Well, that's cool. So tell us a little bit about. Um, you know what? Tell us a little bit about the public speaking opportunities that are that are that are available and are that we are are available for uh, here at Zwy Group in, in terms. If somebody wants, say, a Mark or uh, a Chad to come out and speak, or Jamie Claire, or you, or myself, or any one of the leaders here at Zwy Group, what 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 does that entail, or how how would that work? It's actually very simple. It it's basically contacting any of us, um, me primarily, or, or any of us, and letting us, know, letting us know what you're looking for. So whether you're looking for, maybe you're having a, a corporate retreat, uh, annual corporate retreat, or you're having a uh, um, quarterly meeting or, or board meeting or something like that, and you want somebody to come in, uh, somebody who's an expert in in their field, right. somebody who's a part of this industry mm-hmm. uh, to talk about a certain topic, we can do that. And it's just a matter of uh, lining up the dates. Uh, the biggest challenge usually is if you want to get it done next week, it's probably not going to happen. Right, right. But if it's a couple months from now, then then we can make those work. Make it work, yeah. And you right. can get get some really good people to come out and really provide some great information and uh, speak specifically to whatever your needs are. So right, right. And it, really, what we'd have is a conversation about uh, what is it you're looking for. What do you want to accomplish? Again, I go back to everything on the strategy side. Is if you have somebody come out to speak, what do you want the the end state to be? Yeah. What's your objective? Yeah. I want to learn about this or I want to, you know, hear more about something like that. We've had people ask about uh, one, they would just want to hear from Mark because he's a, he's a fantastic storyteller and he right. remembers everything. Right. Um, he remembers everybody he's ever met. I think <laughs> uh, we've also had people say, we'd like more information about uh, leadership opportunities or tell us more about uh, winning project management companies um, about marketing firms, or firms that are doing marketing very, very well. Right. And we can talk about all kinds of things like that. And, um, it's pretty simple. We get on the calendar. We'll come out and, and talk at uh, at your location. Yeah. So. Well, it's funny because I mean, you know, you've had me go out and speak at some ACEC events, and um, and um, you know, I I, I look at uh, the the feedback that's come from those, and in actuality, I've been invited to some other events to speak because of those ACEC events. Um, right. And you know, I went and spoke to a bunch of high school students for a STEM program. And then some other members of the ACEC program wanted me to come and speak to them just in general uh, about leadership development. And so I, th- I think it's interesting. So there's all kinds of opportunities uh, available as far as that's concerned. There's pretty much not a topic that I don't think we can cover satisfactorily. I mean, in, you know, in a, in, a, in, a, you know, in a way that where you would walk away saying, wow, those guys at Zweig, they understand the industry, they know what they're talking about, and they're not selling a bunch of horse oil or anything like that. No, so, it, yeah, we're deep into this every day. Yeah, you know, this is what we do day in day out. We work together uh, every day, so yeah, we're learning more about the industry all the time. Yeah, and, and actually, I'd add about add this too that if there's somebody out there listening to the podcast who is who has been offered a speaking opportunity and you're not sure where to go or how to develop your speech, um, 
you know, it'd be great for them to call you, Randy, yeah, and, and contact you and, and get some tips on how do I, how do we become an effective present uh, presenter? Yeah, public uh, speaking. I mean, it's it's a it's a very powerful area, uh, and it's one of those things where you know it's one of the, one of the biggest fears is public speaking. If you can overcome that fear, then not only can you leverage whatever your skill set is or whatever your strength is, but then you you marry that ability to speak in the pu- in in the public setting. Um, and it's like, I mean, that's like, that's real. That is lightning in a bottle. Oh, it is. Because yeah. most people, especially in this industry, it, you just don't find it. Right. Uh, and it's a rarity. So when you have, uh, you have a certain discipline experience and understanding and skill set, and you marry that to the whole public speaking thing, I mean, you're, you know, you, your die is cast. I mean, you can do just about anything. Yeah. You can go anywhere and then people will learn from you. I mean, yeah. it, it'll continue to, to bloom and, and those who are working for you or maybe your people you're mentoring yeah. will start to follow your path as well too. Absolutely. Absolutely. So, well, man, there you have it. I mean, that's, that's a lot of stuff that, uh, that's going to be going down in, in, in 2018. Is there anything that we didn't cover that we, well, I guess the, the next thing I'd say is, and you kind of mentioned this, if there are other topics that we didn't even talk about here, we can cover those too. Right. So we actually have, uh, we've run a program in the past called, uh, M and A in a day, so mergers and acquisitions in a day. Right, right. If you want to learn more about a merger and acquisition, you know we can help with that as well. Exactly. Um, and another piece to this too is, while a lot of these are in person, we have also, you know, through the miracle of the online interweb, right, uh, we can come to you through uh, through a video chat. Exactly. And we could do it through a maybe it's a lunch and learn or something that we'll set up an hour that we talk about a certain topic. You put everybody you want in a room, or everyone dials in. And we can do it at a distance as well, so that distance learning is available. Yeah, I mean, and I, and I think that's a great that's a great option as well. I mean, you want to have that accessibility to individuals, and those lunch and learns can really be invaluable um, to your people if you have them on a regular basis. So, um, so certainly, if you need help or have any ideas about that, you can always reach out to Bill and uh, or myself or you know anyone on the team to just give you some ideas, and you can kind of brainstorm and come up with some some options and ways for you to leverage that uh, so that you make sure your people are getting it. The other program that we could also do is hiring and keeping great talent, right. which we've done in the right. past. It used to be called becoming a better recruiter, but um, same, same idea. But uh, just the, uh, the goal is to really train your people to, to, to properly develop relationships, both internally and externally um, to the advantage of the company so that you're constantly on the lookout for great people to join your organization and you're constantly on the lookout for ways to continue to develop the talent that you already have so that they don't exit that through the back door. That's right. So that's right. Well, there's all kinds of benefits there, but but certainly you can always reach out to us and and, and ask and inquire and see if there's ways that we might be able to help you uh, in this area. And so, Bill, I really appreciate you just taking some time out of your holiday schedule uh, to chat about this. And um, certainly we'll have uh, complete information on the show notes. So if anybody wants to reach out and find out more about some of the training seminars that we're doing, uh, public speaking availability and uh, different topics that we could cover, uh, all that information will be uh, right on the show notes uh, for this particular episode of this Wide Letter podcast. But uh, again, Bill, thank you so much for taking time out of your day to, to, to sit and chat with me for a few minutes. I really appreciate it. Well, thank you, Randy. This is exciting. It's going to be a great year in 2018. And uh, again, training is exploding. So it is. It is. It's going to be exciting. Absolutely. So, well, listen, folks, I really appreciate you guys taking time today to check us out here on this Wag Letter podcast. Uh, we really appreciate and just want to say thank you to all of the amazing listeners out there, both near and far. And, and the way that we want to thank you is just by offering you a free, that's right, you've heard it right here, a free subscription to the digital edition of the Zweig Letter the newsletter for the design industry that's been running nonstop since 1992, almost three decades. It has some of the greatest information. It runs 48 weeks a year. It's roughly 11 to 12 pages of outstanding uh, information, data, all kinds of uh, material to keep you abreast of what's happening in the design industry. We have some of the greatest writers here in-house, myself, Bill, and others, and of course, Mark Zweig, um, writes the main the main um, article each each week, and I always look forward to Mark's articles. So uh, it, it's, it's something that you don't want to be without. But uh, I just encourage you to get a free copy of the digital subscription to the Zweig Letter. You can also get it for your whole organization for free. That's right, free. 
So please take advantage of that. You can visit our website at zweiggroup.com and all the information's right there on the main page. You can click on the Zweig letter link, sign yourself up. All we need is your email. We don't need a name. We don't need a phone number, nothing like that. Just your email address and you'll start getting the digital edition right away. So we appreciate you again for listening to this episode of the Zweig Letter Podcast. I hope you and yours, depending on when you're hearing this, are having an outstanding holiday season. We hope that all of your plans for 2018 come to fruition the way that you've laid them out to. So want to thank you again. Uh, for listening to this episode. Remember, if you can, uh, the Zweig Letter podcast is available uh, both on in audio and in most cases, video format on iTunes, YouTube, Stitcher, SoundCloud, just to name a few places. If you get a chance, check us out in any one of those locations uh, as, all, as well. We'd, I'd really appreciate it if you would just take the time out, depending on where you're listening to rate this podcast, give us some feedback, a testimonial, anything to just let us know that you're out there listening. We would really appreciate it. And remember, share this with your friends. Remember, sharing is caring. You heard that here first. I'm Randy Wilburn. I'm Bill Murphy. And you've been listening to another episode of the Zweig Letter Podcast. Thanks so very much. And we will talk to you soon. Bye for now. Thanks for tuning in to this Zweig Letter Podcast. We hope that you can apply Mark's no-holds-barred advice to your daily professional life. For a free transcript of this or any episode of our podcast, please visit info.zweiggroup.com slash podcast. If you want more wisdom and inspiration, in addition to information about finance, HR, and marketing your firm, subscribe to the print or digital version of the Zweig Letter online at zweiggroup.com slash publications. 